What's going on people, Cash Cream Developments and welcome to another episode of Cream Wall Access as we take you behind the scenes on a very special project this time. We're not working on a car, but we are actually working on a brand spanking new My17 wide arch body kit developed exclusively by us at Cream Developments and this is major, major, major key for us as DJ Khaled says because it's a new kit that's been developed and we haven't even launched it yet, but it's going on display at SEMA. That's right, it is gonna be on display at SEMA with our friends at Rohanna, Rohanna Wills that is. So, how this came about. We got um, a message from someone in America who owns a GTR, who's massive in the scene out there. He's seen some of the production, production designs, he follows us uh, on Instagram very closely. He's been watching what's been going on, what we've been doing, um, and absolutely fell in love with the prototype concept of what we are what we are building we've already built a car here uh, belonging to aziz um which hasn't been launched yet the kit hasn't been launched yet but we've you know we've let off a few pictures here and there and just going literally by those pictures this guy has fallen in love completely and wanted to go with um one of our custom builds now obviously we're not building the car but we are building the kit the kit's now almost 50 percent in production um consisting of our front bumper our uh, wide front wings or fenders as they call it there uh, again rear, rear wide arches um, rear bumper and all carbon under silk kit parts as well this is uh, going to be done slightly differently as, as uh, opposed to what we're doing here the whole kit is going to be pretty much made out of carbon fiber there'll be a lot of exposed carbon fiber on display on this kit as well it's some it's a new thing that i think porsche and some of the you know big boys have uh, have brought out the legs of the spoiler have been made at CNC billet machined aluminium and it's completely uh, our own custom design again. We wanted to do something different as, as opposed to what's already out there. There's there's many spoiler designs for the GTR with Rocket Bunny and um, Liberty Walk and uh, some others where you know, you'll see the swan neck thing going on where the leg comes up and over um, or down the boot bottling up to the back panel between the lights and stuff like that. Uh, we wanted to go something a bit more um, less aggressive looking, uh, a bit more streamlined and a bit subtle but at the same time still looking classy. Um, the idea behind this spoiler is that there's no rivets or bolts on display, everything is done from underneath the boot and inside the spoiler so the legs just completely bolt onto the, uh, onto the tailgate um, and there's no legs or arms or, or nuts and bolts on display as you get with most of today's spoilers so that was a concept behind that uh, which has been achieved so really happy with that as well. So yeah, that's where we are with the kit at the moment. Really excited to see how this pans out. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy this episode as much as I will. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Journey starts again, up here in Dave's den. As you can see, Dave's got our wide body kit laid down on the bench. And we are now going through the process of chopping it up again, uh, after all that work that we put into it, um, and going extra wide. That's coming. Taking them all off of the arch. And that gives us an inch to cut them to the knee. So if you want that wire, you just move that edge to that, put it on to the knee. So that's the idea, pretty straightforward. These are our, these are the actual, actual original, it's what we like to call a plug, and they weigh a ton. Ugh. This is the original wide body fender for the GTR first one that we ever produced obviously we took a mold of this so this is now uh, a plug so what we're going to do is modify this fender to come out by about two inches maybe however, however much wider we want to go and uh, by taking a mold of the actual wheel arch itself so take that section pull it out blast it all back in and it'll come out where we where we want to same with the same with the rears you can see here exact same thing is going on. Dave's just taking the mould of the outer lip so he could then reposition it, bring it out further away and then glass it all back in and there you go. We have uh, a wider version of our wide arch kit. <laughs> the My17 rear bumper, first one to ever go on display, will be out there in Vegas as well. So as you might remember, the first kit we had, had out in Vegas was a bit of a mix match but it worked really well. It was our wide body conversion it had uh, our My17 front bumper, our edition cream one. But because at that time, when that job came through, we hadn't finished the rear bumper at that time, but we did finish 
a Nismo rear bumper. Again, it's a, a, our own edition cream Nismo rear bumper. So it was a mixed match. My setting in front, Nismo rear, our wide body, and it all came together really nicely. But this time around, it will be completely our own, my Civic version on display for Varun. Uh, this is his rear bumper already complete and made, ready for moulding. Um, and the second car that's going to be out there, again, will have our standard wide body for the my Civic. So Varun's having an exceptionally special car built for him out there. It'll be the world's first and the only one. All right, so you can see the new rear arch is back on the car again. So Dave's just going around checking all the gaps and measuring everything, make sure it's right. When you come over, you can see how much wider the arch actually is now. It's gone from about there to there. All the difference. And we're also going to alter the bottom part of the uh, arch as well. You can see Dave's chopped the whole section off and we've raised that section which used to be down here. Just taking it right up because we've got a little idea with the carbon running boards that we have and the fins that go on the back. Well, we're going to alter that and change that as well and put in a big carbon fin at the back which then kind of makes this whole section here uh, into like a vent, that sort of thing. Looks a bit messy to look at now, but you see where I'm going with it. Okay. You ready, Chris? Yeah. So if you look, you can see this section, once trimmed, will be fitted there, and that will sit on the carbon running board. And we'll have this nice, huge, great big vent put in the back, which will be functional as well, so it's not just there for styling. And the same sort of thing at the back, where we've uh, already got our carbon rear vent section. So yeah, you get the idea, you get in there. He's already put all the mesh in. Uh, we've got three tapes there. One is going to Varun. The other one is going to Mr. Chris Long. And the other one is going to JP Yora. Along with some more of it as well. So that's job for Chris. Yeah, that's Chris. JP Europe. When you come around the back, you can see it's all bolted up. So we assemble it and send it out there so it makes life a lot easier for them. It's got the full under tray. 
all stainless steel nuts and bolts throughout, everywhere. So when they receive this, it's self-explanatory how this whole thing uh, is put together, allowing them to then dismantle it, paint it, put it together quite easily, put it on the car. Okay, so we have our bits back from our plastic shop. Now you get a better understanding. Don't worry about the protective film, that just comes off once I've finished with it all. But this is a spacer plate that goes on first. That is solely there for one reason only, and that's because of the thickness of the polycarbonate. It's five mil thick. If I didn't have that, and I placed this in, it would be sticking out of the outer side of the, of the bonnet by about three mil, and it would look a little bit silly. So this uh, spacer plate is simply to make up for that. That will go there like so. The bonnet itself is about a mil thick. And then this, again, it's just got the plastic cover on there for protection. That will sit there like so. And that's giving me the ledge or the lip that I need to allow that to slot in through the hole on the other side and sit firmly on there. So yeah, looking forward to that. Beautiful My 17 edition cream bumpers. Again, going out stateside. One is for Mark and John Cotella. Both pretty much complete and ready. Paul just going around doing the final nuts and bolts um, to assemble it all. As you can see, it's a little bit loose there. But that one's completely fully assembled with the V grill, which he still, still has to fit on this. And under tray, the carbon front splitter. As you can see on this version, we have exposed carbon along the top and the center section as well, which is an optional extra, which this customer has asked for, hence why he does not have it here. But nonetheless, they both look great. Really please, got number two ready, going out SEMA. So the overall kit of the car has now been finally designed and finalized. Um, Paul just staying around now and perfecting all the parts one by one, starting with the back bumper. So his job is to go around checking all the vents left and right, all the holes that we've cut, um, all the little areas that we've sculpted and designed. It has to be same left and right. So he's going to go around checking all of that, measuring it. You can see that he's uh, lobbed it up around here, simply just to get the shapes right. Because on this side, it was slightly sitting in than that side. So to make it nice and flush against uh, the quarter panel, he's um, filled it up a little bit. And the idea is to basically perfect it get it off the car, put it into primer, flat polish it and get it moulded so we can have the first few bumpers out ready to ship out to the state. Um, you can see the lower balance has been modified as well with the extra piece fitted in and that's been cracked, broken or cut, pulled out so that can have the, uh, the new upright that will go there in carbon fibre. That's been done as well so Paul's going to perfect that. The red wall panels have been removed as have the overfenders in the front um, and Dave's handling that, making sure they're nice because it's all hands on deck now we are pressed for time and we need to get this shit done ASAP
for today's test kit there, as you can see, all the new mega wide body parts are now uh, pretty much finished. Um, they need to be finalised and perfected still, but the overall shape and design has now been completed. Um, these are the over fenders which go on top of the fenders, um, so it's like double wide. They used to be 55mm wider, now they're 100mm wider on the, uh, on the front when they both fit together like that. On the back is now 150mm wider instead of 85 um, You've got the new front bumper extension as well. You can see it's got that flick which takes it that extra bit wider to marry up with the uh, front wings or fenders. Um, this is yet to be modified. This is a Type 2 carbon front splitter that goes with our old wide arch kit. So what we're going to do here is simply just extend it a little bit more, allowing the carbon fin to fit that little bit wider as well. These are the new panels which have now been completely fine. I absolutely love these. So, these new panels will be bolted down like that onto the running boards and bolted up like so. It's got a nut on the back of that at the moment so it's not going to fit flush but this, this is bolted up from behind the wing and that will go on like so. Instead of having the three carbon vents on the wing, you now have this great big piece which will be made out of carbon as well, of course with our Edition Clean emblem fitted there. Come around the back, you see the back piece, which is Paul's favourite. Great cheers. That is how the back one's going to be. Again, all of these need to just be uh, perfected. The overall shape and design has been completed. A uh, new My 17 rear bumper has been completed as well. Dave's working on that as we speak. He's making the final adjustments and he's, make, he's fitting the carbon lower diffuser onto it as well. And once that's assembled on the bench, we're going to then fit it onto this, get it off the ramp, get it outside, take some photographs, have a good look at it, make sure we're happy with the overall design, see if there's any alteration that needs to be made. And uh, yeah, finish it off. This is our exclusive F1 carbon rear diffuser. It's different to what we had on Eddie's car uh, or Majestic Unicorn last year on the Rahana stand. He's got a smaller version, our, our Type 1. This is a Type 2, it's a lot deeper, a lot bigger. The blades are a lot bigger. They've got these triangular cutouts as well. Um, and an F1 brake light. So all. Um, Four of the new VTR that are on display at SEMA this year will be having our brand new carbon rear diffuser as well. Right guys, so here she is, our My17 Edition Spring rear bumper with the OEM style carbon rear diffuser, globally exclusive, first in the world, um, with our added F1 carbon rear diffuser as well with your functional F1 light and above that we have got the extended if you come a little bit closer you can see the extended over diffuser we call it because it simply goes over that diffuser um, this sits around here once obviously it's uh, bolted up underneath the car that is where it's going to be situated but my days have we got that that there is an achievement right there so so proud, um, it, just, it just looks fantastic. So excited to see how this turns out, this project, uh, on Jason's car, or Jason's client's car, should I say. Um, and yeah, when we fly out there and see the rest of them built. Okay, so we've just taken delivery of our billet aluminium stands for the spoiler. Just come back from the polishers. And voila, have a look at that. How nice is that? A little bit of a history, just so you guys know how these came to be. I drew that out of cardboard first. So that's the idea that I had in my mind of how I wanted them to look. Then, you cut them out in MDF. This is actually the second one. There, there is another one that's had all them triangular sections cut out, but we can't seem to find it at the moment. But that is basically what we ended up with out of MDF. We then placed it on the car, we positioned a big carbon spoiler blade on it as well, just to see uh, how it, everything sat and it, was, it worked really, really well. Um, and went from that to then having them 
uh, machined our billet aluminium from an engineering shop that we work with and um, we perfected it and made it even nicer by putting all the little chamfers on the edges. So you can see there, we've got a really nice chamfer there. Again, a smaller chamfer on the inside edges. And just really finished to an extremely high level. So yeah, I'm just going to check the other one out, make sure it's good and uh, wrap it up and get it in the box. Final shipment now leaving us. We've got a good friend Nick, non stop working, back in his van up. And this will be leaving us going to Stanford Airport for the last and final shipment to see my going out for Mr. Varun Sankar. And this will be going to Apex Quality Works for Super Mega Build. I'm actually really excited to see the kind of flesh now. All the crazy hours that's gone into this. It's finally being boxed off. I've just fitted the rear carbon over the fuel as well, pushed against time because my man is here outside to collect the last shipment and we are not ready. So, did you quickly finish it off? Bumper is now pretty much done. Just going to finish the uh, F1 diffuser which is also polished. Uh, I need to assemble it quickly. Paul is finishing off the front carbon splitter. This is again for Richard's own personal car. Uh, we requested to have a new front splitter for our bumper. This time we are actually sending it out with our brand new carbon front corners. This is a new addition to our parts list uh, for the Microsoft GTR. And uh, this is going out for Richard's personal vehicle on the house, complimentary. The splitter is now ready. Just going to bolt the side fins on and assemble the whole lot. And that's that done. Just leave the F1 diffuser. This is one of two of our exclusive F1 carbon rear diffusers going out for Richard and both Chris as well. So we're just prepping and getting it ready. We're going to give it a coat of lacquer. Uh, this one's done, got one more to do. And I'm just basically assembling it with the fins and the F1 light, making life a little bit easier for the boys out there. Final shipment for SEMA, we've got my boys Nick, 
Did you miss him? I'm Renee in the house. Say hello to the camera. It's the last and final shipment to go out for SEMA Las Vegas. This is for Richard and Chris Long. Who's building two cars, his own, his very own uh, wide body Nissan GTR and Chris Long's Nismo version. And that will be the end of the puzzle, puzzle for us. All locked and loaded, ready to go up in the van and off to America. It goes. Come on, boys, let's get this out of here. Don't stop working. Stop talking about. We went to the job. Goodbye. That's it.